Hey guys, I haven't done one of these in a while, so I figured it was just about time. Um, I am going to show you how to propagate a plant today and how to seed a salvia. So these, we have our fuchsias here. You probably see some spent ends from where I've already been uh, propagating them a little bit. Propagate means you cut off part of a plant and you take it and you make a whole other plant out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this stem here, we're going to clip it, this is a fuchsia, right up above the leaf nodule, and I'm just going to cut, I'll just let you watch it, oop, and there it is, and I'm going to do two, because I always like to do two at a time, no real reason why, it's just, I like keeping my garden bed symmetrical is all. So we're going to pick those up, you want about three to four inches on these, most plants you'll uh, propagate differently, so this is pretty specific to fuchsias. Oops, I'm gonna drop it on the ground. Very crucial to the process. So we've got these two we're gonna take to the back garden. And then we're gonna plant some salvia seeds too. And I hope there are still some because uh, I, I got a ton of them yesterday. So a salvia will have these little petals right here. And what they do is they fall off and they have seeds inside. So that's how it seeds itself. There's no more right there, but we did get a few. If we look over here, which I just cut off a big one of that as well, like literally yesterday. I should have done a video then. My bad. That's okay. We've got some, and odds are there's going to be a seed in them. First, we'll deal with these fuchsias. Fuchsias are super, super easy to propagate. I've only recently started doing that. And again, propagate just means that you take a small part of one plant and you make it into a whole nother plant. So this way I can have as many fuchsias as I want. So you can see my garden bed back here. I've actually got a lot of probes going on. So if you'll see these, these are called succulents. It's kind of like a cactus. And then I've got some fuchsia propagations there in the middle. Funnily enough, all of these succulent parts, I picked off the floor of Home Depot. So free plants there. And then I got a couple mints going here that came in some takeout food. And two more fuchsias that I did this morning. And then I was like, oh, I should video this for the kids. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this. You can pinch off the bottom leaves. You want to make sure that you don't tear it. This is hard to do one-handed. You make sure you don't want to tear it down because that will actually um, take off part of the stem as well. So you're just going to take it and pull it up so the leaf comes off. Take it and pull it up. And now it's just got those top leaves, see? It's got a little bit of the stem, le like leaf stem, but that's okay. So we're gonna put one, I'm gonna put it right out here. Boop. And just insert it into the soil. And it'll end up having little flowers like this. This is a single fuchsia, but I really, really like the uh, double ones. This one has a little bud on it. I don't like taking off buds, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Oops, sorry, I'm trying to like balance this on my leg for you guys. Okay, so take it, remember, pull it up, pull it up. If you pull it down, it's going to end up stripping that stem. It's not going to be very good for anybody. Oop, well, that's fantastic camera work. Just take it and pop it in. A lot of these I usually propagate in water, but fuchsias, like you literally just stick them in the soil. And what I did is I tested it first. I took these two, I squashed that one on accident the other day. And I went ahead and put them in, so that way I could check them for a few weeks and make sure they weren't just going to outright die, and they didn't, so yay. Let's see. We'll go over here. You can see the reflection of my place. And we'll go ahead and just take those salvia seeds here. Now, you could just bury the whole thing, but I'm going to try and get the seeds out so you can see them. Let's see, this one doesn't have anything in it because I feel it. Ooh, but this one does. All right, again, one-handed. Wait, I bet I can do this. Hold up. Let me try and balance. All right, so we're going to take it, open it. You see that little black in the middle there? That's a seed. So you could really just bury the whole thing if you wanted to, but we'll just take out that little seed right there. Boop. See it? A little seedy. We'll see if one's in here. 
Yeah, I feel it. It's like a little fat nugget inside. So we'll open it up. That doesn't exactly look ready. It's not exactly black like the other one. Maybe they didn't have enough time to mature. Again, I just did a ton of these yesterday and got maybe like 30, 40 seeds. So I wasn't really expecting much to come out of this, but I wanted to show you the process at least. So again, these are red salvias. We got two seeds there. One that is way too white, but that's all right. We can still try and make it grow into something beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda look on my ground here for a stick. Well, look, there's a stick. Take it somewhere where it's gonna get enough sun. Right along the side of my house is fine. I'm just gonna poke that stick in the ground, not too far, because you wanna make sure that uh, you know it can get out and I made it a little too deep. All right, and then we're just gonna boop boop right inside, cover it up a little bit with soil. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow and the next few days, so I'm not really going to worry about um, watering it too much. Usually you'd keep it nice and wet, but I don't have to do that. And so now look at that. We've got some brand new flowers we'll have very, very soon. In fact, I should probably make some um, for Cheyenne for her new house. Well, that's a weird noise in the background. The joys of Atlanta. And I want to show you these uh, Cali Brockwas down here. Craig has been getting interested in my gardening, and so he's been taking care of these bad boys all by themselves. They weren't getting enough sun, so they um, started looking pretty rough. And he's been moving them every single day, bless his heart, so they get as much sun as possible. And now look at them. They're gorgeous. See those double petals? That's because it has more than one set in there. And I just think these are so beautiful. I love them. You can propagate these too, but you have to keep them humid. But I might do that if I get bored enough. And then these, these are both Cali Brockwas, they're just different types. They're very pretty though, aren't they? Sometimes you'll hear them called uh, Million Bells. But yeah, that's a little lesson for you guys today on propagation of salvia seeds and fuchsia plants. And now you know what a Cali Brock one looks like. I hope that y'all are enjoying yourselves and that you have a good day. Love you. Bye.